Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about fake friends. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I'm gonna get straight into the video now and tell you some things that I've realized recently. I think your associates and who you are around have a massive effect on your life. So I always think it's good to reevaluate the people you are in contact with most and think, what do they bring to my life? Do they bring happiness? Do they bring positivity? Do they bring negativity? Do they bring any traits that I think aren't helping me? So I'm gonna go through some things that I've realized personally, and I'm so sure that you're gonna realize these traits as well in some friendships and think, do I actually wanna be friends with this person? As we know with social media, which has been like one of my favorite topics recently, um, we know it can take over our lives. And I have noticed in some friendships that I literally can't go anywhere with them without them documenting it, if you get what I mean. Like, we can't go anywhere without pictures being taken. They would never just come to my house because pictures can't be taken there. It's only for photo opportunities that they want to see me. It's not actually that they want to see me and not have any pictures or not go somewhere where they can look bougie almost. And I think to myself, are you actually my friend or you're someone that wants me to be there for your image or for your Instagram? or for social media. And I notice a lot of people do that. If the only time I see you is when we're in a loud place or a loud environment like a club and we cannot converse with one another, then really are they your friends or are they clubbing friends? They're not actually people that you can rely on and trust on and speak to about your issues. Because if you feel uncomfortable being in a place where it's quiet to talk to them, that says a lot. Another thing that relates to social media is if you post something online, for instance, like some news, and you have friends that say, oh my God, I didn't know about this, you didn't tell me. I always say the right people would know. If you're in somebody's life regularly, they would know about it, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be like they find out through someone else or social media. They would know because they're always talking to you and they're always seeing how you are. So when you have friends that are like, oh, you didn't tell me that this happened. It's like, well, if you was in my life, maybe you'd know about it, like it's not a secret. Um, and that's another indicator that they're not actually your real friend because if they was, they would know more. And continuing from that, you also may find friends that just want to talk to you to find out what the latest gossip is. It's almost like you're a newspaper and every few months or every month, they just want an update on your life. And they don't want to be there for you during your struggle. Say for instance, she said, oh, I just had a breakup and they just wanna know everything what happened at the breakup and then they're not checking up on you to see how you are or anything like that. It's just like they just want news from you. They just want your information. And I don't know what they wanna do with it, <laughs> but they just want to feel better almost about their life maybe and they just wanna hear the gossip and they don't really wanna give you too much about them, but they wanna hear about you. And for me personally, that's something I've learned recently and I'm no longer telling anyone my business unless you are in my life consistently because I'm not OK Magazine, I am a real person. And people in the past I know that would actually be like, oh, how are you, how are you doing? And I'd be like, oh, I'm OK, I'm not exactly great at the moment. And then I won't hear from them again for a few months. It's like. Really, do you care about me? Are you actually a friend? Because if I say that, I rarely ever say that. And if you aren't there for me, that's not good, is it? Some people genuinely feed off your unhappiness. So you may think someone's always there for you during your sad points. One test I would say is, see where they are when you are happy. Because one thing I've noticed is, I don't know whether you've seen the video where I said that I am the happiest I've been in years. And I've noticed since I've been happier, um, I've lost some friends almost. They don't like to see me happy. They feel uncomfortable with my confidence and my happiness. And it's actually quite sad because if they were there during my struggle, I want you to be there during my success. I want you to be there when I'm happier so then we can enjoy life together. But it doesn't seem to be that way. It's almost like they preferred it when I was sad and when I was down because it made them feel better about their life. But now I'm happy. It's like 
they're like how could you have gone through all that and be happy which is another thing i want you to talk about because some people people that might even be close to you will feel uncomfortable with your success and with your confidence they do not want you to exceed them some people as well may not be able to deal with the fact that you now have more attention than they did they may have been the center of attention before but now it's you and they can't handle it and a real friend will help you through the highs and the lows not just when you are down they will be there when you're up and they'll enjoy life with you and nothing should be a competition in a friendship you should be equal and if you feel like they're not encouraging you when you do share your goals that is a real red flag in friendships because your friends should want to elevate you i genuinely get so much joy when my friends do well i couldn't imagine being around someone that feels uncomfortable if I did well or feels jealous because that is toxic and that jealousy is such a bad thing to have around you and you need good energy around you especially to make things happen and if someone doesn't encourage you or inspire you or bring the best out in you you should not be around that person and also you get the opposite where some people don't want to hear if you're going for a rough time they only want to hear when you're doing well one test i'd say to do is if you're with a friend that you think doesn't really care much start talking about yourself and say something that you're going through or just tell them about your life at the moment and see how much they pay attention see if they get their phone out see if they look away and they're not that bothered see if they ask questions because that gives you a good indicator whether or not they actually genuinely care. One thing I've stopped doing personally is stop expecting people to do the things that I would do for them. I think we often think if we would do something, we think they would. And that is totally wrong. Just because you would have loyalty, just because you have morals and values, it does not mean the other person does. Unless you know for a fact that this friend is a good friend, you can trust in them, don't expect them to do the same things as you because you can be disappointed. One thing we cannot control is other people and if you find a good friend or a good person, hold them tight. Another thing that used to happen to me in my old friendships, the friends I had would just try and put me down all the time. So anything I said, anything I'm wanting to do, they'd tell me all the negatives of why I can't do it. And who are they? <laughs> like are they God? Do they know everything? Everyone has their own journey, everyone has their own path and I think people often put their fears onto you or they don't want you to be winning. Either way it's bad and it'll keep you down and one thing I used to always notice with my old friendship group is every single time I left them on Sunday night I would literally feel so deflated. I'd feel worse than when I got there. I'd feel so bad but I didn't know why and that was because their negative energy was put on me and at the time, I didn't really realise it, but I knew I needed to move away from them people because I never felt good around them. And once I left them friends, my life has changed for the better. And don't ever be scared to lose friendship. Some people are only meant to be in your life for a certain period of time, for some of the journey, not the full destination. And it doesn't have to be like a messy break up like with friends because they're your friends and sometimes you outgrow each other sometimes they're just not for you they can hang about with other people similar to them and i always say birds of a feather flock together you tend to be very similar to the people you hang about with so you should look around your group of friends and think are these the sort of people that i aspire to be are these the sort of people i'm proud to have as friends don't just judge people on what they say you should judge people on their character and if someone keeps doing something over and over and over again and you do not like it you're not hostage to that person you don't have to be friends with them you can move away from them and make a new group of friends and i genuinely think in the law of attraction as you know i believe in it everything i sort of wanted in a friendship i have got and i'm very lucky to have friends around me that are so positive and so kind and always pushing me to do better and i genuinely believe they want the best for me and i do actually really listen to them and take their advice because sometimes when they say things i'm like yeah you're right that makes sense it's so important to have people around you that you trust and you can rely on and you know will always be there for you and they're not going to do anything behind your back or be bitchy the last thing i'll talk about when it comes to fake friends which is sort of an obvious one but you don't really think about it because you just think oh they wouldn't do that to me it's friends that talk about other friends that they are close with sometimes even closer to them than they are with you and they will bad mouth them to you and one thing i'll say is never think they're not doing it about you it's just like finding a guy that's just cheated on his girlfriend with you don't ever think he's not going to do the same to you it's exactly the same friends that do stuff like that i would not trust 
in a million years sometimes as well when they talk about other people it's not even like valid it's not even something that makes sense they're just cursing them for no reason be careful of what you tell them because they're probably going around gossiping about you or saying stuff about you too to me that comes from an insecure place and fair enough but don't put your insecurities onto me, <laughs> please. I hope this video helped you. If there's any signs that you've noticed in some of your friendship groups that you think, oh, they do that. This is from experience of things that I've realized in my life. And I think, yeah, hmm. And they keep doing it. And as I say, it's based on their character. And if they keep doing something, it's in their character. They can't change. Sometimes you just need a new group of friends or different groups of friends and don't see them that much. Maybe that's the best way, actually. I've had a lot of people ask me this. What's the best way to get rid of a friend that you're not really wanting to be friends with anymore? And I'd say find a new friendship group and sort of distance yourself more and be more busy. Sort of what men do when they want to ghost you. <laughs> so I'd say that and they'll eventually get the hint. I don't particularly like arguing with friends to leave a friendship group because there's no need for it. It's not that they've actually done something to you and you shouldn't expect someone to behave a certain way that just might be the way they are they may have always been like that but now you've grown up and you've evolved and now you don't really like the way they are but i wouldn't say criticize them for it you can maybe give them some constructive criticism and if they want to take it they can if not leave them be and find a new group of friends that are going to be more like you and you won't have to work at it you shouldn't have to work at a friendship like that much i don't think i've ever worked at a friendship i say the only thing you need to do to work at a friendship is make plans with each other and see each other i think that's the only sort of thing you need to do and be in communication you shouldn't be trying to change them or anything like that because that's who they are and you leave them to it and if they're not your sort of person don't try and change them that will stress you out life's too short be with a new group of friends that are very similar to yourself, I'd say. That is my opinion anyway. <laughs> I really hope this video helped you. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next video.